A fortnight after NASA unveiled the initial images captured by the James Webb Observatory, scientists were startled by news suggesting a potential upheaval in cosmology. The reason behind this disturbance lies in the telescope's detection of unexpected galaxies in the early universe, challenging the established timeline of our current cosmological model. This discovery posed a significant challenge for astronomers who have long regarded the Big Bang model as the most accurate theory to comprehend the universe. Adding complexity to the ongoing cosmological predicament, the Webb telescope has once again uncovered an unforeseen aspect. This latest finding compels scientists to reconsider the notion of other possible universes existing beyond our own. According to our current models, the number of galaxies should decrease as we delve deeper into the early universe. However, data from the Hubble Space Telescope, focusing on galaxies with red shifts between 4 and 8, aligns with this expectation. However, there were differing opinions regarding what the Webb Telescope might observe for red shifts beyond 9. The most recent examination of the characteristics of 88 high red shift galaxies, as found in the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science, has taken everyone by surprise. Julian Muno, a cosmologist from the University of Texas at Austin, remarks, We are witnessing the presence of stars and galaxies. These celestial bodies emerged suddenly a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, leaving scientists puzzled about the cause of their early formation in the universe. Some suggest that the swift expansion of space during the initial phases of our universe might have hastened the development of galaxies and stars. However, the underlying reason for this rapid expansion of space remains a mystery. In a recent development, scientists have introduced a new theory through a scientific paper published in December 2023 in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics. According to this study, the scientists suggest that the expansion of the universe could be a consequence of its continuous merging with other universes. The researchers propose in their study that the rapid expansion might be attributed to the merging of our young universe with a larger one. The scientists went on to calculate the rate of the universe's expansion using their theory. Remarkably, their calculations align more closely with observations of the universe compared to the traditional standard cosmological model. Lead study author Jan Ambjorn, a physicist at Copenhagen University, emphasizes, our key finding is that the accelerated expansion of our universe, driven by the mysterious dark energy, might find a simple and intuitive explanation in the merging with what we refer to as baby universes. This model could potentially better fit the data than the standard cosmological model. Let's take a closer look at this fascinating research and explore how other universes were formed. We'll also examine how the merging of these universes might offer a solution to the early galaxy mystery detected by the Webb Telescope. Despite the immense power of our telescopes, peering beyond the observable universe is an impossibility. The accelerating expansion of our universe is causing galaxies outside our observable reach to recede from us at speeds surpassing that of light. When we refer to our universe, we are specifically talking about this observable universe spanning approximately 93 billion light years in diameter. The observable universe is a ball-shaped region of the universe comprising all matter that can be observed from Earth or its space-based telescopes and exploratory probes at the present time. The electromagnetic radiation from these objects has had time to reach the solar system and Earth since the beginning of the cosmological expansion. Initially, it was estimated that there may be 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe. That number was reduced in 2021 to only several hundred billion based on data from New Horizons. Assuming the universe is isotropic, the distance to the edge of the observable universe is roughly the same in every direction. That is, the observable universe is a spherical region centered on the observer. Every location in the universe has its own observable universe, which may or may not overlap with the one centered on Earth. Beyond this observable realm, there exist galaxies, and scientists speculate that the entirety of the universe might stretch infinitely. 
But the fundamental question remains, how did this entire cosmic phenomenon come into existence in the first place? Around 13.8 billion years ago, scientists posit that the entirety of boundless space condensed into a singular point known as the singularity. However, this singularity isn't akin to a mere point in space. Rather, it represents an unimaginable state of our universe. Its vastness remains infinite encapsulating all the visible matter within our universe, compressed into this boundless point. To fathom this state of our universe, envision it as an unstable, empty expanse extending endlessly into infinity. Picture the inception of our universe, an infinite void that abruptly initiated expansion. This expansion unfolded within a fraction of a second, a mere trillionth of a trillionth of a second. The observable universe burgeoned by a factor of 10 to the power of 26 in all directions during this rapid expansion, coined as cosmic inflation by scientists. Following the cessation of this swift expansion in empty space, quantum fluctuations transpired within this void. These disturbances in the quantum field paved the way for the emergence of matter culminating in the existence of all the matter within our universe, seemingly materializing out of nothing. This extraordinary event of matter appearing in empty space is famously known as the Big Bang. The prevailing consensus among most scientists is that the abrupt expansion of space, commonly referred to as cosmic inflation, likely occurred simultaneously throughout the entire universe. However, the perplexing aspect remains. The reason for the cessation of this rapid expansion, transitioning the universe into a slower-paced expansion, eludes our understanding. Conversely, alternative theories propose that the swift expansion of space may have unfolded differently in various regions of the infinite universe. In the 1980s, Paul Steinhardt and Alexander Vilenkin introduced a groundbreaking idea. They recognized that the exponential growth of cosmic inflation, while halting in our observable portion of the universe, could persist infinitely in other unobservable domains. To illustrate, envision space experiencing exponential expansion, reaching at least 10 to the power of 72 or more and halting in a specific region. This region becomes akin to a bubble universe, representing either ours or any arbitrary universe. Simultaneously, space could persist in its exponential expansion in other sectors of the universe. Approximately 10 to the power of minus 32 seconds later, this expansion halts in the newly expanded universe, giving rise to yet another bubble universe. Now, we find ourselves in possession of two universes, yet the expanse between these two universes continues to undergo exponential expansion. As segments of this recently formed space cease inflation, it gives rise to the creation of new bubble universes. Once again, the interstitial space between these bubbles undergoes exponential expansion. Steinhardt and his counterparts discerned that if the decay of the inflation field transpires at a slower pace than the universe's rate of expansion, the process of inflation could persist indefinitely, generating an ever-increasing number of bubble universes. This concept is commonly referred to as the external inflation theory. The theory of eternal inflation introduces a layer of complexity to our understanding. According to this theory, what we perceive as our universe is merely a confined region within a significantly larger space-time undergoing exponential expansion. In the context of this eternal inflation model, when a bubble transitions from inflationary to non-inflationary space, an immense amount of energy is generated within the bubble. This energy subsequently condenses, giving rise to all the matter within the expanding bubble, a phenomenon we recognize as the Big Bang. Researchers contend that we reside within one of these bubbles termed baby universes, with the intriguing possibility that two such baby universes might collide. This illuminates how the eternal inflation model unveils the existence of numerous universes and the potential collisions between them. In a recent study, scientists have disclosed a fascinating revelation. Our universe experienced a collision with another nearby universe during its formative years. 
Our universe continues to expand at an increasingly rapid pace, yet not all scientists concur that dark energy serves as the primary catalyst. Alternatively, some posit that our universe may be engaging in collisions with and assimilating smaller baby universes. Jan Umbjorn, the author of this paper, suggests that the remarkable swiftness of our universe's expansion within a brief time frame implies that this surge may have been triggered by a collision with a larger universe, our universe assimilating into another parent universe. Should this theory prove accurate, it has the potential to unravel the mystery of the Webb telescope's detection of massive and brilliantly luminous early galaxies. Scientists posit that these early galaxies may have swiftly formed as a result of collisions between our universe and other baby universes. This research underscores that the notion of other universes existing beyond our own is no longer confined to the realm of science fiction. With optimism, we anticipate gaining deeper insights into these multiverse theories in the future. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of fascinating theories and discoveries. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe for more intriguing content. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video.